Hello there folks, DJ Bergstar here back with another tip of the day. So today I have a super interesting device I found called Harmony Bloom. And unfortunately it costs some money, it's like $30, but um, I think that, you know, there's endless devices out there and MIDI generators, but this one is just so unique and so interesting that I thought I would share it with you because it is just one of those devices that's just super fun. Um, you know, some are sort of tedious and they can only do one thing. Um, this can generate MIDI notes um, in such a unique, fun way that um, it is just a pleasure to just play with um, until you kind of find things that you like. Uh, uh, let me show you how this works. Um, so basically, it doesn't have any sounds of its own. You throw it on a MIDI track, and then you route it to a sound you want. And I think that's better, because then you can choose any you know, instrument or sound that you want. And what I've done on this track, um, after I do this first demo here, is you can have multiple of these, you know, so you can have, you know, just two of them playing or four or eight, um, and they sort of interplay with each other and come up with some very unique, um, you know, patterns and um, ways of generating MIDI that I just haven't seen in any other instrument. Uh, it's very fun to play with. So I'm just going to do one here for now so you can see um, just sort of the potential of this uh, instrument. And what I like about it as well is everything has these random dice. Um, so you can kind of start somewhere and then just start playing around with the dice for you know, the note length and duration and, um, you know, how many notes it's playing at a time and the offsets and all of these different um, uh, randomizing uh, ways of uh, getting this thing to generate MIDI notes. I think the important part is if you're actually going to use this in a song is that down here you want to make sure you're in the same scale, you know, the root and root note and scale so you're in the right key. Uh, of the rest of your track uh, that you're playing because if these things are all playing in different keys it's just going to sound like a train wreck so that's one thing you want to be careful of is make sure that if you do have multiple of these running you want them all in the same key um, but let's just play around with one for now and I've got this routed to sort of a piano-ish kind of sound and we'll just hit the dice here for a while and just play around with this so you can get a feel for um, sort of what this does um, and the way it does it. Um, I actually don't know, you know, the full potential of this. I just sort of started playing with it. But um, let me show you what this does here. Let's just hit play and uh, I'll have this soloed here for now. And we'll uh, just uh, come up with a few things uh, by hitting random. So here we go. <laughs>
Okay, so I think you're getting the idea here. Um, this thing is just uh, is really fun to play with. Um, you know, it comes up with just the most unique random uh, MIDI generating notes that um, you could possibly uh, dream of, really. Um, so I think the important thing that if you're using this in a song um, is to stay in the right key, uh, you know, having all of these uh, set to um, the right, you know, root and scale here. So uh, let's get rid of this as my example. And I put together uh, this uh, pattern uh, earlier, and um, I'm just learning this myself, so... Um, some of this may be just sort of random, but um, uh, what I did was is I put a regular chord pattern on this track, and that's how I'm basing the rest of this on. Um, so I took the um, basically root note of these chords uh, and threw them on each one of these um, Harmony Bloom tracks you'll see that they're all the same and they're just the root note of the chords um, so they'll be in the right key um, because I have them all set to an F major here see F major down the line um, and then my chord is an F major um, you know pattern so uh, it should all sound good together um, so let's play uh, let's just solo um, my chord pattern and just the first uh, instance here of Harmony Bloom and you can see what that sounds like together um, I guess that's this one here so let's play that Let's add the next one. It's this one. And then over here I have a sort of a bass sound. Uh, let's add that. Um, I also have a drum pattern that I um, put on here as well so it can sort of turn into more of a track here. very interesting you know it's it's super cool the way you can just play with this and come up with just the most interesting patterns now of course you can choose your own sounds these are just the sounds I chose but um, you can get this to sound a little more you know um, hard style uh, and I have the tempo way down too you can turn that up and um, turn this into uh, you know a lot more of a vicious kind of a thing but uh, I have it very dreamy with the uh, sounds I chose. Uh, let's just keep playing around with it. This time I will change some of the uh, dice here on these sounds and have it change the pattern up as we play. Um, you know, um, let's just save what we have here. Uh, and I can always revert to that if um, we don't like uh, what we had cho changed or something. Um, but let's just play with this for a bit.
right. Well, I think you get the idea there. Um, it's called Harmony Bloom, and it is just fascinating. Um, you can um, sort of play with this endlessly until you come up with something you really like. And um, I think it's a heck of a lot of fun, and it's just a new way of approaching generating MIDI notes for you. And, um, you know, I'll leave a link uh, in the description on where you can download it. Um, and if you do, you know, have fun with it. And, um, you know, you can spend a lot of time just... Uh, you know, having fun and coming up with different sounds and different patterns. And um, I think um, it's a fun new device that uh, I would recommend. Um, anyway, uh, thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next one. DJ Bergstar out.